Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Mawahib. I know it's been a minute since I uploaded a video. It has been about three to four weeks, I think four weeks now, and I do apologize about that. I will explain myself at the end of today's video. But today's video was actually inspired by one of you guys and her name is Maria. If I'm not mistaken, her name is Maria and she's the one that inspired this video. And if I am right, please do comment in the comment section down below. I couldn't find the comment I was scrolling through my phone to see um, the comment but I couldn't find it for some reason but I do remember that your name was Maria so if it was you then do pop it in the comment section down below so I know I'm, I'm right or wrong. The purpose of this video is to try out the same wig series but from different candle suppliers and if that would perform the same or different. I'd love for you guys to click on that subscribe button down below and give this video a huge thumbs up if you like it. So let's go downstairs right now so you can have a look at the candles that I made as I was going downstairs I thought let me show you this part of where I stock my candle supplies now I have shown you guys um, where I stocked them in a previous video but I really want to reorganize everything so I think I want to make a video idea where we sit down and organize this part together and we can go through all the things that I have all the containers I think that would be a great idea let me know if you guys would be interested in the comment section down below all right my love so this is all the candles that I made I made six candles and the wax that I used is carousel for all of them and the fragrance oil that I use for these three candles is cedarwood and jasmine and the fragrance oil that I use for all these three candles is Red Roses from Cozy Owl and the Cedarwood and Jasmine is from Supplies for Candles. The candles have been curing for about five days, yeah five days now so they've had some time to cure and um, let me just go through the wicks for you. So this wick is a TCR 1810 from Supplies for Candles. This wick is a TCR 1518 from Cozy Owl. This wick is TCR 1810 from Cozy Owl. What I found differently actually with Supplies for Candles candles the smallest wick that you can get is 1810 but with cozy owl the, the smallest wick that you can get is 1518 which I found pretty interesting so I decided to try that out with a 20 centiliter candle container I know it says cucumber and melon over here you guys I changed my mind last minute so I decided to use cedarwood and jasmine just to finish off what I have this is the eco 6 from supplies for candles this is eco 6 from cozy owl and this is eco 6 from candle shack so now all the candles are burning so I'm burning the um, cedarwood and jasmine inside the kitchen and I'm burning the red roses inside the living room all right my loves I thought why not just have a chat now instead of me waiting until the end of the video for me to tell you guys my reasons for not being able to post for the past three to four weeks um since we're waiting for the candles to burn for about an hour to an hour and a half might as well just use up the time to talk to you but before I do talk I do want to shout out one of my supporters and her name and I think you are the person that inspired me to uh, make today's video and her name is Maria Lopez Garcia thank you very much for caring to check up on me to see if I'm doing well and by the way I do miss you too so let's get to why I haven't been posting and the reason why I haven't been posting is actually because I recently got accepted to a full-time position which I'm super super grateful for it's a great opportunity I just haven't been able to balance um, working full-time it's my first full-time job normally because I just recently finished uni all I've been working ever since I was 16 to right now I'm 24 um, is part-time jobs so this is my first full-time job and I haven't been able to balance out when to film when to make candles when I'm at work I'm slowly starting to be able to balance my time in that way so hopefully I will be making more videos in the future but making YouTube videos creating YouTube videos making candles is not something that I want to stop this is something that I call this is this is for myself this is my hobby it's something that I I enjoy to do it's, it's my passion making YouTube videos is a part of it it's I love making videos for you guys I love communicating with you guys and to think about it for one year in one year of me making YouTube videos, I have over 700 subscribers and we're so close to 800 subscribers. To think about it is mind blowing and I'm never gonna stop that. This is what I love, this is what I enjoy, this is mine. It's something that I can call mine. And I share 
my I share myself with you basically like I share my experiences my uh, my mistakes everything basically I share with you guys and I will never stop that so I don't want you to think just because I took three to four weeks uh, off from uploading that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop making YouTube videos because I genuinely enjoy it I just haven't found the balanced uh, um, balance a full-time job making YouTube videos and try to balance everything else that's going on in my life so don't worry I am going to um, get back on it I do have a video actually Actually for next week um, hopefully I can find a day off where I can film it and edit it and get it up for you guys so don't worry don't worry and right now when we were going down the stairs and I looked at my um and I looked at where I stocked my supplies I was like oh that's another great idea I would just like to film a chilled video with you just organizing my stuff there's a few things that I want to have your opinions on it's just like there's a lot that I want to share with you guys so my videos are going to keep running as long as I'm balancing everything well I've been so quiet I know I've been so quiet on Instagram I haven't really been posting on anywhere not only YouTube so nowhere on my social media I've been posting I've just been so busy with working full time recently that I haven't had time to actually sit down and film but right now like I said I'm gonna find the balance of things I'm gonna sit down and see when I can film when I can edit when I can make candles doors and so I can keep those videos running for you guys and if there's anything any videos that you would like to see from me please do pop them in the comment section down below and I'm always more than happy to film this these videos for you guys and if there's anything that you would like to see improve in my videos then please I'm open to your opinions I'm open to um, I'm always open to improve in the future so please do let me know if there's anything that if you think I talk too much in my videos uh, let me know I'll try to I'll try to summarize my videos a bit shorter because I tend to talk a lot I love talking so sometimes it just happens naturally because I just enjoy talking um, if there's anything that you'd like to see more of in my on my YouTube channel then do let me know I'll see you guys in a bit to show you how the wicks are performing thank you guys for listening to me I know I probably spoke too much so I do apologize all right you guys so this is the um, red roses um, candles that I'm showing you right now so this is the eco sex from supplies for candles eco sex from candle shack and eco sex from cozy owl and honestly I think that eco sex from cozy owl is doing so much better than the eco sex uh, from candle shack and supplies for candles so before I turned the camera on it was actually sitting uh, there was black smoke coming out from the flames and I feel let me focus it and I feel like the um, flame heights are slightly higher than the eco six from cozy owl and also if i just give you a view up this way and i think with these two wicks they're actually melting the wax faster than the eco six from cozy owl okay and here is the three other candles that is burning in the kitchen so this is the tcr 1810 from supplies for candles TCR 1518 from Cozy Owl and TCR 1810 from Cozy Owl as well. So I think that I think I'm getting similar results here. I'm getting a bit of dancing from these two candles. Of course, let me know if you do have a different opinion than mine. But for me, I don't see much of a difference. I do see that they are dancing quite a bit. There you go. But other than that, I don't see much of a difference. All right, you guys. So this is our number two. Does this look like it's mushrooming? I think, I, I think like a, a small mushrooming. It's not a problem, but it is small. I think this one I'm getting a little bit of a bigger mushroom. Can you guys see that? Let me focus it. So I think I'm getting a bit of a bigger mushroom here. However, I'm not getting a hot throw. I can smell the hot throw of the red roses. It's filling up the entire living area and the upstairs area, which is amazing but i'm not getting any hot throw from the cedarwood and jasmine all right so this is for the um eco series so this is the eco from cozy owl um this is obviously our number two it's doing good slight dancing um it was flickering er earlier just before there we go if it just flickered um and this says eco six from candle shack i think can you guys see how the wick is bending into the melt pool so that means that the wick um i read on an article that means that the wick is not um appropriate it's not meant to be bending into the melt pool it's supposed to be slightly upwards so um yeah like this one this is a great wick because it's not bending into the melt pool because eventually when that bends all the way into the melt pool it will turn itself off in comparison to this one it will stay lit all the way through because it's not into 
you know bending to the melt pool and this is the last one which is eco sticks from supply for candles and I think as well the wick is bending into the melt pool as well which is um, not great and I'm getting a lot of flickering as well these are all three of the candles let me know if you see any difference I think they have similar flame height now I'm getting an amazing hot throw um, I think Cozy Owl Eco 6 is doing so much better than the than the Eco 6 of Candle Shack and Supplies for Candles. I still think so. But let me know again if your opinion is different than mine by what you're just looking. Hey guys, I thought I'd show you the candles actually after um, a day. So I did burn them again the next day and they've been burning for actually more than four hours. But this is the TCR 1810 from um, Supplies for Candles and it's doing kind of well actually it's not too bad um this is the 1518 from cozy hour i think that the wick is slightly small do you guys agree with me or do you feel like i could burn that wax when it gets all the way to the bottom i'm not too sure i feel like it's it can't melt it but do let me know and this is the tcr 1810 from cozy owls just in case you're wondering why i have less wax from the cozy owl tcr 1810 in comparison to the supplies for candles it's because my dad has actually been burning this candle for a lot longer than this candle and this is the eco series wick so this is the eco 6 from cozy owl and it definitely mushroomed as you guys can see i literally just turned it off i've enjoyed the smell of red roses that i've just let it burn for so many hours it's been like i think five or six hours since it's burning but i think it burnt really well the only thing is i obviously got mushrooming i'll try wicking down and see if that would work but my melt pot is pretty great actually for a candle that's been burning for six hours my melt pot is not deep at all and this is the candle shack one um i definitely have wax residue here in comparison to this one um but i think that will melt as it gets hotter and hotter again very happy with the melt pool i don't think it's deep at all and i don't have any mushrooming for that one this is from candle shack from the eco six from the supplies for candles i got major mushrooming do you remember you guys i told you that this candle i think it was this candle that i told you it was like you know bending way too much into the uh, melt pool um and this is what happened as you guys can see there so literally mushrooming dropped onto the melt pool and i have even more mushrooming and the wick is completely building into the melt pool so that's when i know that this wick is not working at all i definitely see some um, differences now because in the previous clips i said that i did get uh, different results from cozy owl in comparison to candle shack and supplies for candles right now i think cozy owl and candle shack are doing better than supplies for candles with that mushrooming it's crazy and i feel again the eco six uh, from supplies for candles is burning way faster than the eco six from candle shack and cozy owl by the way if you do have some mushrooming like i have here into the melt pool um, if you can find this on Amazon, it's called a wick dipper and this is a snuffer So you just put it right on top of the flame and it switches it off and obviously your wick trimmers which you need to cut your wick trim your wick sorry i'll link these products in the description down below just in case you guys are interested to pick some up but basically you just grab this and then you i'm gonna try to do it with one hand and kind of you know take it out from the um, melt pool just like so and then obviously wipe it off with the tissue and yeah okay my love so you've seen two hours worth of burn time for the candles that i made i would recommend from anything that you buy from suppliers let's take buying wicks for example do look at the description so for example with some eco wicks i believe they have um vegetable wax coating and some of them paraffin wax coating so definitely do look at the description uh, of the wicks that you are buying so just in case you do get a different performance in wicks from different suppliers do look at the description maybe that would help you understand why you are getting different um, performances from same wick series but bought from different suppliers i'm going to close out today's video right here and say thank you very much for your patience thank you very much for your understanding and for listening to me talk so much in this video um i do miss you guys very much i do 
miss talking to you maybe that's one of the reasons why i'm talking so much love for you guys to click on that subscribe button down below give this video a huge thumbs up if you like it comment down below on what videos you'd like to see from me in the future and please don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you guys can get notified every time i post so with that being said i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys